Welcome everybody to the fourth take of this video because I've been disturbed three times in trying to get this narration done. And to think I had the house to myself for this session. Who'd have thought it? Anyway, we're now going to start this video off against Hunter Doken, who uh, was the guardian of a very inconspicuous hole in the middle of a mountain. And somehow, in the two seconds in the animation there, we've managed to get down onto Dueling Circle. How that happened, I don't know, but let's get the battle done regardless. Now, the Quillfish there is a Shadow Pokemon, as you can see by the purple ring around it. And in this game, it isn't very good. It's a bit sad because I do like the way Quillfish looks, despite the fact it's got collagen infected lips. Um, it's a shame that it's pretty poor in this game because I would like to use it otherwise, but. Nevertheless, I can't do that. It has a lovely typing in Water Poison. Only the Tentacle family can match it for that. It has very useful abilities. One for its um, Toxic Spike laying in the form of Intimidate. And the other in the form of its Sweeping Potential because it can have Swift Swim. Quillfish is actually, not to spoil too much, one of the best Pokemon you can have to um, counter, per se, uh, Mirror B later on in the game just as a heads up there if you want to make the game slightly easier for yourself. Quillfish is a good Pokemon to pick up. But um, unfortunately I've been poisoned because you know what poison is like when the AI uses it. If it has even a 0.2% chance of doing it, it will happen. Guaranteed. And the <laughs> adding the insult to injury is that synchronised back on a poison type with poison doesn't work. So really there was nothing to gain from that. That's a good evidence of why not to use Quillfish though just there. Its special attack is awful. Truly terrible, and in this game all water moves are special without fail, even waterfall. So um, I wouldn't really recommend using it, I'd give it a 2 out of 5. Like I said, it's really got very niche use in this game in that it will beat me with a B for you. But aside from that, it's not doing a whole lot. In future games like Pokemon Black and White, it gets a lot better because obviously you can pick moves more freely, Water can be physical as well. Um, you can use it much more frequently simply because its ability to uh, lay toxic spikes is much more important in later games. But yeah, unfortunately in this game it pretty much sucks. And hopefully we'll catch it sometime soon. Because this battle's been going on as a net effect for about six minutes, you know, obviously before I sped it up to uh, make it slightly less tedious for you. I'll have a, a quick sip of my beverage while we are waiting. There we are, love a uh, can of D Pepsi Max there. Ideally it would be vanilla coke, but that is illegal here, so you can't buy it. It's a chemical problem. Now I shouldn't be doing product placement by accident, we should get back on with the video. Um, because it's used Minimize, things are missing frequently, and it is slowly and sh but surely beating itself down with its recoil from Shadow Rush. So if we wait till Christmas, we might actually capture this Pokemon. And I know I said I'm not going to use um, Skip Plume, and I still don't intend to use it in the long term. But unfortunately, at this stage of the game, it really is pretty much the best choice to capture Pokemon, simply because its special attack is awful. Yet its special attacks also slightly heal it, so it lasts a bit longer than normal. It has Sleep Powder, which makes it a bit more... Um, you know, widely used. It can be more used more often than uh, you would think for a grass flying type with a quad ice weakness. Luckily, we haven't really seen much in the way of ice right now for the sake of the skip bloom. Anyway, finally we've caught the quillfish. That took ruddy ages. But we did find it fun, even though we blatantly stole from him. Now, time for the dungeon. I don't deem the first part of that a dungeon. Mirror Bee's hideout. It is not difficult. It is not hard to traverse. And you will find as the theme, as it says there, there are lots and lots of Lotads. Although many of them will get skipped out because they're not mandatory battles. So remember that when I um, go through the uh, dungeon, you'll mostly see non-Lotad based things. Anyway, let's roll. I've not sped the um, pathfinding of this up. I've skipped bits out just as a heads up, but I will explain them as I go. Best thing that's with all Pokemon games is to look around each room you're in thoroughly. Unfortunately, most of these rooms are just plain brown, and I've skipped out trainers that we don't need to battle. I'm only battling them for sake of experience grinding, because getting experience in this game is very slow and boring. So there's no point waiting to do it all at once, although there is an option for that later on. 
it is honestly better to do bits and pieces of it every now and again rather than leaving it all for one stage of the game. There's nothing back here, Daniel, I can tell you that much. There you go. Mostly rocks, so if you're a geologist, you're going to love this place. Anyway, I don't believe this guy is mandatory either, so prepare for a jump cut. Yeah, most of the uh, trainers that don't instantly spot you as you walk past are not mandatory. That's just a um, rule of thumb. Usually if they have a shadow Pokemon, they will find you to make sure you don't miss the opportunity to catch a shadow Pokemon, presumably. Anyway, there's nothing down here either. Only more rocks. If you're a real fan of y rocks, yucky getting in the way there. And this guy, as you can see, because, you know, as I've gone past him, he has instantly spotted me. You would think he's mandatory, and it is, because I've not skipped it. We have a Meditite and we have a Bagel. Both would be very good Pokemon to be Shadows. Unfortunately, only one of them is. And it's the Meditite. The Meditite is quite a good Pokemon. It gets better in future games. But even in this one, it's not too bad. I mean, unfortunately, Psychic is always special for it in this game. Which is quite a shame because its ability doubles its attack. But you have to remember the one saving grace for this Pokemon in particular is that Shadow Ball is physical in this game and it's one of the only few Pokemon that can make use of the fact that it's a physical move that lowers special defense because its psychic stab will benefit from that. Bear tight. It's not particularly quick unfortunately though but it is a right powerhouse. I'm contemplating using it on the um, team in game here. I would probably give it a three and a half maybe a four out of five just because it has so much destructive power. If you're looking for status effects though, you're looking at the wrong Pokemon. I had to nip away there, um, just to get another drink, because my throat has been in such poor nick of late. Never mind, luckily it's not had to require a fifth take, so we'll keep pressing on. Anyway, the normal there survives with zero possibility, it just got destroyed there. And the Meditite, as I was saying before I had to nip away there, is a very good Pokemon that I am very much considering using. Um, it's actually quite a good use with the Macho Brace, which I will show you how to get. It's not too far away from now, but the Macho Brace, just as a heads up, is an item that gives you twice as much uh, growth in your stats in return for halving your speed. So, obviously it's quite a difficult item to use, but one that's very much worth using in a game that's reasonably short like this one. No, anyway, the med is asleep, so hopefully we'll catch it soon. Or even then, for that matter. That was nice and quick, wasn't it? Much quicker than the other game. Anyway, we want to go southbound now. My Pokemon have won a knockout competition. You're no average trainer. I am well aware. Now, after that uh, lovely lemon-shaped clip, we want to go up the stairs and not go this way. We want to go the other way because of the other way there is something more interesting. Come on, go the other way. Thank you. Now this way there is something of note. Well, there's two things of note. Um, I'll show you if you find this wiggly path. Obviously if it's a long path it's down here to go somewhere. This person is going in that room really, really well. So we're going to subtly go past. Oh wait, no. She doesn't notice. Um, there's a guy there as well. I think we'll just talk to him and get the battle out of the way. Oh no, we won't. We'll go straight past him. Great guarding there. Well done. In the box, there's three Ultra Balls, so it's well worth going out here, because that's 3,600 Poké Dollars worth of stuff for free. I'm going to battle these two people, who both have low tads to my knowledge, but I will skip through them so that you don't have to see an incredibly long and monotonous video. And after I've battled the second one, I will see you back to where we caught the Meditite from, I suspect. So, um, hopefully we'll get that to skip to it in about 20 seconds' time. Roadblock? Yeah, brilliant roadblock you bloody well were, weren't you, you dolt? Mirror B is apparently unbeatable, though, so we better put some extra effort in. Now we're back to where the Meditite was. And obviously there are two paths here. We can go straight ahead or to the right. I can tell you for a fact that going this way is pretty much pointless. Although this guy does spot you, so you instantly think, oh, he might be quite important. No, he isn't. He's not important. He's not worth take, you know, the time. The reason I came this way is because of another item. And it's a full heal. It's probably not worth a right lot of full heal. I think you can buy them for 600 Poké Dolls. But, well, we're hoarders. We're playing a Pokémon game. You're going to steal everything you can, aren't you? So let's go down the stairs. 
and you think there's going to be four paths, and you go to the west, and there's this person here. And I go for a battle, and I believe she is important. Yes, she is. Ryder Sosh, who's in a um, lovely, fetching red wetsuit-esque number. And she has a Dunsparce. Oh, joy, the Dunsparce is a Shadow Pokemon. Actually, I'm going to be cool. It's not actually that bad. Dunsparce, um, statistically, is pretty rubbish, actually. But it has some ingrained sensibility, which makes whatever it does have its special effects it's twice as likely. Um, it is very, very, very annoying competitively because it will paralyze you and flinch you to death. Basically, it's a very poor cousin of Togekiss in, you know, modern games. But, uh, for this game, it's actually not too bad to use because obviously you want to be inflicting a lot of status effects. But really, it's bad stats to undermine most of what it's doing. And by this point, you have Skip Plume, which can put things to sleep immediately, so having Yawn isn't particularly useful. Really, I wouldn't recommend it, but as a Pokemon, it's not that bad for this game. It'd be at least 2.5 for this game. Probably 3 out of 5. But obviously, um, it's nowhere near that good for competitive play. Hopefully, we will catch it nice and quickly for a change, as opposed to all these other Shadow Pokemon that have taken bloody ages. No, of course not, we're going to get paralysed. Anyway, um, if I attack it, I fear I may kill it, so I'm just going to sort of uh, whittle its accuracy down so it can't beat me up while I try and catch it. And hopefully we should catch it probably in the next 30 or seconds or so. But of course not, I get paralysed again, so it'll take longer than that. And I get killed, in fact, for my troubles as well, or fainted. Pokemon don't die unless they're in Lavender City. And if they do die, too bad, you've got a radio station on top of your gravesite now. Well, that's on dark. Anyway, let's get this dumb Splash catch so we can end the episode nice and quickly, because that's what we want. Nice, swift episodes full of action. Ta-da! Cool. Now, I will uh, see you in the next episode. I'm going to fanny about with my um, Pokemon party for a few minutes, or a few seconds, rather. And um, I shall talk to you later. Yeah, we are pretty strong. Anyway, talk to you later, everybody. If you enjoyed the video you've just seen, please join my Facebook group and follow me on Twitter for the latest news.